I improved over the season. What specific ways did they think that you did improve in both aspects? Um, just uh, coming in in training camp, uh, kind of my mindset and you know, maturity uh, definitely you know, changed during the end of the year. Um, having some leadership qualities as a young player and in terms of going to court, just uh, adjusting to the NBA game. It was a while, you know, as soon as I got drafted, um, you know, didn't, didn't get drafted as, as high as I thought it would be. Um, so second round, and then from there, you know, the lockout, uh, how long the lockout lasted, uh, looking like it wasn't going to end, and then to ending, and then you get news of a uh, Chris Paul trade, and you're going to come to point guard. So I'm point guard is getting traded here, then you hear he's not getting traded here. Uh, then you know, preseason you only get two games. Um, I go from being inactive, Steve Blake goes down, I start playing uh, quality minutes, and then not. So it kind of was an up and down year, but I'm um, really happy I got to learn a lot of stuff. Do you think that, you know, when you face problems down the road as everybody does in, in their profession, Having gone through this so early will be a benefit. Yeah, I think so, definitely. Although it wasn't the season that I wanted to have personally, I think it definitely made me stronger um, mentally in uh, terms of my character, just to be able to go through adversity um, in, in terms of how to handle it and, and where to fuel it to. Um, you know, disappointment. You know, just go harder on the court, and I think it definitely will help me in the offseason uh, just to turn a lot of heads next season. Even in summer league, you know, it's really gonna feel me. There's what's your overall feeling in the free agency as opposed to your first uh, I think summer league will be big for me just because uh, if, if teams didn't know, um, you know, certain teams probably like me coming into the draft, but just in case, you know, I've gotten way better since then. Uh, it gives a chance for all teams to see me, you know, not just the Lakers, but mm -hmm. uh, other GMs, other coaches to be there. So it'll be a good experience for me, good opportunity. What are you weighing as far as variables for your shooting? Just right situation. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I love it here in L.A. Uh, you know, being a young player, it's really important uh, to be somewhere where you feel like you have an opportunity to play and uh, get to grow on the court, uh, most importantly. Uh, so the little things like that will be a factor. And, uh, and we'll see what, what happens. After your first season in the NBA, what specifically do you want to work on? Regarding your game on the summer? Um, quite a bit, you know, uh, you know, being on the bench and, and watching a lot of the other top point guards, you learn a lot, uh, little things, little tricks uh, to the NBA game that you know, wasn't there in college. So I really want to work on those things, watch a lot of film, um, and, and really study a lot of people's games. Anyone specifically? Uh, not really. Just, just you know, a lot, a lot of a lot of people in the league are, are really gifted and talented. So, just watching game film of everybody will, will help me a bit, especially the good point guard, you know, around the league. You know. And um, you know, just being watching Tony Parker, Chris Paul, you know, Russell Westbrook, and all those people uh, definitely gonna help me uh, add stuff to my game. There, as you grew up here, watching Kobe and then sports to make the season. What, what did you pick up from whether it was practice or um, I picked up a lot, um, more just because of uh, the friendship that we developed this year. Um, you know, I, I didn't really expect us to be you know, as close as we got, but uh, you know, it happened. It, uh, you know, uh, just just seeing him in practice alone before I, you know, I really got to know him, I, I really observed him a lot. You know, some, sometimes people would say, well, you know, why, why are you observing him so much? But you, know, you can't take it for granted that you're going to always play with one of the best people to uh, ever play this game. So I uh, really just looked at him and studied him, his focus, his preparation, and uh, the way he goes about his business. And uh, like I said, uh, off the court, we've we become good friends. So uh, uh, I see our relationship even growing even better. You know, he, he keeps continuing to teach me a lot of, st a lot of stuff. There is the adventure that you, know, you, you expect to maybe go a little higher in the draft. Do you, how do you weigh the value of maybe 
going somewhere or where you may be going somewhere where you might have played a little bit more but the team wasn't as good versus coming here where you didn't play as much but you, it's a, you, know, you get to learn a lot. Yeah, you know, that's definitely the value of playing for a franchise like this. You know, not, you're not having to worry about if you're going to make the playoffs you know, most of the years you know, here in this franchise. It's definitely a plus and it might, it might be worth, you know, not playing a little bit of minutes on a lesser team that's not going to see the playoffs uh, or really playing for draft, uh, draft, draft uh, selection, you know what I mean? So, like, being a rookie and, and playing in the playoffs, you know, all those small minutes, it, it's still, you know, it's a lot of people in the league can't say that they did that. So, it's definitely a blessing to be able to come here and, and give you some winning tradition in the NBA. Ramon said yesterday that he, like, because he's played on, you know, three, three, two, all of them which were really bad. And he never learned how to do things, you know, some of the attention to detail, like defensively and the rotations and things like that. How, how much of that do you think you learn here? Um, you know, the, the little things that whether you stay here or you don't, you can take with you. Yeah, I, I think a great place for, for me to you know, get introduced to the league because now um, I get introduced to the league, you know, as a, as a whole, but in terms of specifically winning, winning basketball. Uh, and like he said, there's a lot of detail that go into it, like, you know, just valuing the possession. You know, uh, elsewhere, they probably are not worried about playing playoff basketball. You know, it's different than regular season basketball. Like, in terms of a shot that you would take in the regular season, you might not want to take that shot in the playoffs. And I heard a lot of veterans talking about that in terms of our tempo, uh, in terms of defense. You know, comes playoff time, we got to start uh, stepping up and taking charge. You know, just little things like that. Um, and just communicating. And, uh, I, like Ramon said, it's definitely a lot of things that I learned this year, um, just being on a championship caliber team. Andrew Riala kept saying uh, that was among the young guys, the theme was to always stay ready, always be ready. How difficult was that, though? I mean, it's your first year in the league, and you have all these ups and downs that had to be tough. Yeah, it seems like that's kind of the theme of the league, if you're not getting a lot of minutes, just to stay ready. And uh, as young players, we kind of embrace that because you see how quickly things can happen. Like I said, I, w I wasn't even dressing um, and active. And Steve Blake goes down, I'm, I'm thrown into the fire. So uh, that right there, everybody has their little moments. You know, or Dev, like not being in rotation, and Kobe goes out. You, know, you would never expect it. Uh, so we all had our uh, examples of, of reasons why to stay ready. You know, just kind of embrace it from there. And it's just something that you got to do, because this is your career. You, know, you aren't getting paid to stay ready. Not to have any excuses, but be, be ready to perform out there on the court. Is staying mentally ready almost more than staying physically ready in that situation? Yeah, I think that's more of a challenge. Because uh, physically, everybody has it here. Uh, you know, you wouldn't be here if you did it. But mentally, uh, it can, can affect a person's performance you know, on the court. If you're not mentally there uh, because of you know, disappointment, you know, I'm not playing, you know, that, that can negatively affect your game. So I, I think mentally is a challenge just to stay ready. Harris, how close are you and Gallup for this season? What does that do for your guys, and just in terms of your development, having someone there who's kind of? Oh, uh, it made it a lot easier. You know, it didn't, didn't feel like you were alone. You know, uh, you, know you weren't the only person going through uh, those those problems. Uh, although I might have, you know, experienced a little bit more by not by being inactive, but it was good to have somebody there, you know, be encouraging. And like likewise for for him, I was always encouraging him whether he was playing or not. And just for us to go through that that whole phase together and this whole rookie year was, was awesome. How much more of the one on one shooting contest you guys had with Emilio? He, he, he probably aged me on the one on one shooting contest. Uh, towards the end of the year, though, it got kind of close. But uh, in terms of just regular one on one, I think I hold that, that title. How much of an indication, I guess, if at all, were you giving the mic about the expanded role for next year or more opportunities? Okay. It's basically you know, up to me just to come in and ready and work on certain things um, that I need to work on to be able to step on that floor. And, and that it's not impossible for me to get minutes next year in terms of, you know, we play two guards at times with, with, with Ramon and uh, Blake. So uh, Blake's ability to play both positions uh, definitely, you know, can help. As long as I do what I got to do and come in ready, I think it'll help, you know, not being considered a rookie no more. Especially on a team like this, that, that's uh, a lot of pressure, you know, to win. You know, kind of throwing on a rookie out there might be a chance. So it, I think it would work in my favor, you know, having that one year of experience. 
in my belt. And like I said, uh, you know, they said summer league would be really huge for me to give me a chance to show them and also show everybody what I can really do. Uh, so yeah, in terms of you know, expanding the role, you know, it's not impossible for me to be able to contribute. Andrew Simbetta was his greatest mentor. Who was yours? Kobe. Kobe was just. Uh, like I said uh, I think uh, you know, developing our relationship. Uh, you know, we talked about a lot of stuff on and off the court, so um, I, I would say Romero has been great all year, uh, aside that a lot of people don't get to see uh, just how great of a teammate he, he really is, you know, I, I'm not just saying that uh, he really cares, and, and it seems like he's, he's so mature now over the year, over the years <coughs> that, I don't know, he's just a really positive influence on the team, but, um, although sometimes he'll, he'll bite his tongue just so, you know, the team will be able to flow at times, you know, times of uh, altercations or anything, you know, little arguments. He always tried to keep everybody together. You know, it, was, it was really team first out there. Even when he wasn't playing, you know, he still would, at the beginning of the season, he was encouraging young players. Like, he always tell us every game, stay ready, even though it might be a long shot for us to get in the game. But he would always just say, stay ready. And, you know, that, that right there is encouraging just to have somebody that you know cared about you consistently throughout the season. Meadow was great, you know, along with Kobe.